What is up, Flock? Things are here, and welcome back to another Farming Sim 17 FS911 update video. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to call these. Um, so, I used to do these videos kind of often um, where I update you what I've been working on and, and all that. And just kind of update you what's been going on with the FS911 series because there really hasn't been anything going on. Um... So first things first, FS nine one's not returning. I still enjoy playing with the fire trucks, though. I still enjoy modding them. I still enjoy everything about uh, FS nine one. Just I don't have a group to do it with. Um, I would love to to strike that back up again and um, have a ball, but I just don't have the group to play with. So that's not happening. But I'm still working on stuff. I'm still. Uh, playing around and I just kind of want to update you guys on what where I've been what I've been working on so first things first I've moved Lynchburg to the Willow River map uh, through the uh, station here uh, this is pretty much nailed down for where I want it to start off as it's gonna change that was the whole purpose of the Lynchburg uh, the Lynchburg idea was I wanted to start off with base trucks. I kind of wanted to do like a backstory of everything. And kind of got the, na the the starter nailed off. So basically uh, the storyline is they started off with this truck here. This is what it looked like. Uh, this is their first their first truck. And then it, it gradually turned into this. So this is what it looked like when it retired. And then they got it back and painted it to its original uh, look. So that is... The, that's set in stone that's nailed down um i don't know what i was thinking about the next i think it was the other ford that uh chief released um but anyway the next truck would have been this one here um which is like an 80 c grave so that would have been the next update and then you know these and and so on so i got the the base down oh and the rescue I was thinking about making, I had a different rescue and I didn't really like it, but then, uh, I can't remember the name. One second. I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up probably because he deserves all the credit for the stuff that he, he worked on. So let's look it up real quick. Not him, I don't think. No. I don't know how to pronounce that. PC PC Zick eight? I don't know. Anyway, uh I think it's him anyway. But anyway, he released this. Uh if I butchered that and got the wrong name, that's on me. But I really like it, so I was thinking about making that the rescue for this department but this is this would be upgrading so i already got an idea in mind what i want to switch up and and all that jazz so i'll be going in the future and then of course we have the the delaware state fire police vehicles this is chief's newest vehicle uh, i parked over here just kind of see where it stood on scaling wise i don't know what happened to my excursion <laughs> i don't know i cleaned out my folder and apparently when i cleaned it out uh it was calling for textures on in the folder so I gotta I gotta figure out how to fix that but yeah so this is where Lynchburg stands it's still not finished uh, it's getting closer like these are all done they're what why I like the way I like them um, I have no desire to change them the only thing it would be this Durango because of this front issue here it's kind of hard to see but it bugs the living daylights out of me but other than that it's set in stone. I just gotta uh, get the rescue and the excursion working, and this is done. Done. Finito. Finished. So let's move on. Uh, I've been working on another project because <laughs> uh, I'm. Well, actually, let's move to the Harrington remake real quick. So I haven't really done made any progress on the Harrington remake uh, currently. Um, Basically, what happened was I was going through and just using the text I had, um, and well, <sighs> your boy tries too hard to be accurate. And after I finished the rescue, so I finished fifty-four was my first 
project and then 51 and then I moved to the rescue and as I was working on 52 which I changed a lot about 52 the front end is kind of completely different than what it, it originally looked like um, I figured out uh, that you know the, 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 the font isn't accurate whatsoever so I posted it in um, and the thin line outfitters group asking if anyone can identify the fonts chief put me on to a uh, website and I went through I have a whole list somewhere around here with the fonts that match up uh, as best as I could and then I got overwhelmed and I just stopped so <laughs> that's what's going on with the Harrington remake I have to uh, go back and redo them all um, there's things I want to change about every single one of them the rescue I kind of can't do anything that is it's pretty on point to what I like um, so only thing I have to go back to is redo the fonts on this one and then done uh, I thought I had started brush 50 but I didn't so I had to completely redo that now engine uh, 54 is gonna get a big update because the bed well uh, the bed's gonna be switched with this one I, I'm gonna have to pull everything I did on this one off of this one and put it on this one over here because even though it's still not 100% accurate this is a little bit more accurate I think um, it's definitely a lower hose bed than uh, this one I believe or the the actual ones more accurate to this one than that one it does like have like an indentation so again not 100% accurate but I think it's more like, closer to what the actual one is than this one I have to look it up I'm not 100% certain but yeah, I'm gonna have to pull all the work. All the other, I did the lights, the you know the lights up there, these light poles here. Um, I think I changed something up here. I'm not 100 percent certain, but yeah, I'm gonna have to pull everything off, put that one on, and go from there. So hopefully, uh, I'm gonna to to double check it to see which one I like more. But I think that one's a little more accurate than this one. We'll see. Uh, 51. I have to go back and do this. <laughs> I made these lines way too thick. I realize that now. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go back and change that and then 52 has a lot of work to be done to it still but yeah that's where the Harrington update sits still being worked on but I just kind of lost steam with the whole trying to be too accurate sort of thing so I'll finish it one day because I love this truck this is by far my favorite thing I've ever worked on in farming simulator 17 the whole fire truck sort of thing I love this truck I can't get enough of it and uh, I think the next project, which you guys will see in just a few minutes, is the, the there's two more projects involved in this cab, which I've fallen completely in love with, and uh, yeah, and then once fifty the new fifty two comes in, I'm gonna hit the ground running on that. I'm pretty sure. So anyway, let's move on to my other project that I've been working on. Um, this is a new department. This is a simple I. <laughs> I have so many pierces that I was like, when I saw the, what is it, the Miranda Hills uh, pack release, I had all the sea graves in it. I was like, I really want to do some sea grave stuff. Um, so I loosely based this off of a uh, fire company up in northern Delaware called Cranston Heights. Uh, I used their, their dog logo here, this, this little... Uh, you can see it has 14 on it. That's that's their actual station number, uh, station 14 in Delaware. I left that on there uh, because I want it to be like that. But th these are not anywhere near. Like I don't even think they have a ladder truck. Um, they use Seagrave engine and squad, but that's about it. That these are ha that's the only thing these have in common, other than the paint job. Uh, so basically. I was listening to <laughs> Ghost's new al newest album, and I was like, I was jam jamming out the Griffwood, and I was like, Griffwood would be actually like a good name for a if a, a, a town. So uh, that's what I did. Griffwood. I went with the blue. I went with Cranston Heights because A C Grave, and then blue is Papa Flores color. So we threw the blue in there. I think it's these two. I switched the grills out on them. Uh, they had the uh, the horizontal bars 
for the sea grape i went with the the vertical bars i think it looks cooler i also changed the the colors of the sea grape it was chrome i made it blue uh, and then i threw it up here on the sides too it looks really really good i like it i like it a lot um but yeah these are pretty much exactly how uh he released them i just changed the colors of some stuff not nothing nothing crazy just some texture work and uh rearranging some stuff a little bit uh so oh and switching grills that's that's about it uh and then the last well there's i missed the command vehicle. there's a command vehicle for this that was just a it's just a tahoe with a cool design on it but i evidently forgot that one and then i want to do this one i want to do the rescue i kind of wish this rescue bed had the two doors in the back it's only got one door i don't like that but you know Beggars can't be choosers, so we'll we'll do it with what we'll work with what we got. Um, but yeah, then uh, the only other thing I would want to add would be a brush truck, which I I got an idea in mind, I just haven't really worked on it. So that's that's Griffwood. That's an, another side project I've been doing, just kind of to dip my toes back in. So I got overwhelmed with the whole Harrington thing. Um, uh, I was working on Lynchburg before. The, the Harrington remake and I got so overwhelmed that I just stopped for like two months and then I dipped my toes back in the water with the Griffwood and uh, you know then bigger things happen and we're going to go over here to the really big projects here that I've been working on which are going to be uh, a little bit more time consuming that is Felton Squad 48 Pigeon Forge Engine 21 which is actually uh, fairly close and then uh, Bridgeville, I can't, I think it's like engine five. I, um, I'm not sure. I forget the engine number on that one. But yeah, these two, I, I love them just as much as I love 54. I, I guess it's the cab. The cab does it for me. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll, we'll start with Squad 48. Squad 48 is Felton's newest truck. It just got an end of last year. Um, so I... I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I gotta, I gotta do that. But I, I've been dragging my feet because I haven't seen a bed I like. So I decided to uh, just kind of Frankenstein my own. So I took the doors off of uh, the bed that's on that uh, squad for Griffwood. I took the doors off of that, took the roll-up rescue bed, <laughs> the rescue engine bed uh, from Cody's... Uh, uh well what is what is it spartan yeah spartan and uh so i just i replaced the roll-up doors with the cabinet doors so it's not pretty as you can see i missed some texture in there um but yeah this is this is only a couple hours worth of work because i had to like i had to take the the i should say um, the mashup is only like a couple minutes. The this here, because every I had to resize the doors. I it took me a while to get this lined up. And no, it's not staying lime green. I do lime green where I do uh, gold leaf work at. So because uh, I never have anything lime green wise. So yeah, that's why that's lime green. It's not gonna stay like that. That's just that's just me getting it prepared. Uh, so when I do go the gold leaf i could just remove that and put the gold leaf underneath it but yeah so it looks really good on this side just don't look at this side but we're just going to mirror what we got on this side over here and then uh i believe it's off to some uh lettering and all that and it'll be good to go well lighting i believe is another issue yeah we gotta work on the lights but god i just like the way it looks already it just ooh. Ooh -wee. The next one is the Pigeon Forge Engine 21. Uh, you guys know I, I've ever since I visit visit Pigeon Forge for the first time, I fell absolutely head over heels and loved the place. Uh, Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg is like my second home. I, I wish it was my first home. I wish I could just go and never have to come back to Delaware because it is so awesome. So I wanted to do a truck for both. I haven't even began to work on the one for Gatlinburg but Pigeon Forge this is pretty well like 
done uh, as far as texturing and everything, I believe. I just got to get the lights on it, and then I got to replace it. These are placeholder hooks. I have to figure that out, uh, find hooks to put on those. But, yeah, everything else is pretty well done except for the lighting. So, I like it. I like it a lot. We're also going to do, when uh, Chief is working on the Sutfin um, mid-mount, when, when that does come out, we're going to put it in with the, we're going to make it match. I want to get as many Pigeon Forge trucks done as possible. Right now, this is the only one I think I have the, the stuff for, but uh, hopefully in the future I get more. And then the last project, the la the biggest one that's farthest from uh, any sort of completion is the Bridgeville truck uh, using the, the Crew Cab 4900 just mashed together. This is not, um, this is nowhere near being a, a, a completed project so uh i just i love that truck i ever since i first saw it um i just i really liked it so uh i want to recreate it but yeah i'm really digging these these freaking caps i can't wait again um when the new 54 does come in or 54 52 does come in we're gonna be i've already been told that the cab is, is it already exists i just have to just have to uh, somehow beg, plead, and borrow, or beg, plead, and sacrifice, I guess, to get it, uh, because I really want it. Anyway, that is what's been going on with the FS91 stuff. Uh, again, if if ever comes a time that there is a group sort of project, I will definitely jump on it. Um, currently, there is not, unfortunately. Uh, I wish there was, because I, I really want to I really do some FS91 stuff again, but you know we gotta do what we gotta do so that's gonna do it if you guys did enjoy today's video though be sure to leave a like down below it does help me out so very much i do appreciate it so very much uh if you guys do want to see future fs901 update videos be sure to click that subscribe button if you guys want to be notified whenever do go live or upload a video click that notification bell as always guys thank you so very, very much for watching i'll see you guys next time bye